All right, so we need to write an equation for number three, but this time they give us two x-intercepts, negative seven, zero, and five, comma, zero, and one point, negative four, negative nine. Well, they give me x-intercepts here. They don't give me vertex form. So I'm not going to use vertex form. Uh, here, if they give me x-intercepts, we're going to use factored form. So factored form, or they also call this intercept form. I just showed it to you on the last problem. So the first thing we're going to do is the same thing, find a value. My equation for vertex form is this, y equals a times x minus r1, x minus r2. So we're going to solve for the a value. Your r1 value is negative 7. Your r2 value, the r stands for the roots or the x-intercepts. And then your order pair here represents your x and your y. That would go here and here. So my y value is negative 9. My a value I'm trying to solve for. My x value is negative 4. This minus sign comes down regardless of what my r1 value. My r value 1 value is negative 7. My x value is negative 4. So you're actually using multiple x values here. The minus sign. And then my r2 value is 5. Class, what's the opposite of negative 7? So what's negative 4 plus 7? 3. Negative 4 minus 5? So I have negative 9 equals 3 times uh, negative 9. Uh, actually, if you think about this, this might be faster. Although you could multiply those, I'd probably just divide both sides by negative 9. Do you see how it's a common factor? When I do that, I'm left with uh, 1 equals 3 times a, because these will also cancel. And then divide by 3 a is equal to one-third. Raise your hand if you got one-third. Okay. Now when I write my new equation, in this problem, all I need is my a value, r1 value, and my r2 value. So I'm going to write factor to intercept form again. Substitute them in. My r2 value is negative 7. I'm sorry, r1 value is negative 7. And you can actually use your highlighters on your next quiz or test. Perfectly fine. R2 value is 5. And then we're going to substitute in um, our A value, which is here. Remember, the X's and Y's you don't substitute. The reason why is you can pick any order pair on the parabola. So Y equals 1 third X minus negative 7 x minus 5, and then we just clean that up. y equals 1 third x plus 7, x minus 5. And that would be our answer here. This equation meets all of our uh, given information.
and then you could just graph that if you wanted to.